Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some pretty great stories about adoption. First up, Elon Musk supports Bitcoin and says Bitcoin is on the verge of broad acceptance. And at first glance, this was just another article which talks about how Elon Musk changed his Twitter profile to hashtag Bitcoin, but it goes far, far deeper than that. On top of that, we're going to take a look at what is going on with this XRP pump and what I think is going to be an eventual dump. So I need everybody to be careful with what's going on. And we'll take a look at both these things, but uh, first take a look at what's going on in the market. So today, Monday, everybody loves Mondays. It is uh, February 1st. It is uh, 10.30 a.m. Uh, Paso, Texas time. Looking pretty good. Uh, looks like the uh, volume is keeping up. We have a market cap of above $1 trillion, So congratulations, everybody in the market. Still keeping up there. Bitcoin up 1.7%. We'll take it. 33.4. And uh, everything else is kind of just if it's up, it's only up a little bit besides Binance coin at 11.5%. So congratulations, all you Binance coin holders. That is a coin that has real utility. You can use that. You can reduce the amount of uh, transaction fees. You can use it for their, I think they have a card. There's a lot of different things for as far as like a rewards program for Binance coin. That is a coin with real utility. Now, a lot of people talk about different utilities on different uh, projects, but uh, I mean, hey, I missed the boat on Binance coin because I just didn't understand it, but now I get it because it actually does stuff. Then we've got, uh, what else? 20, speaking of things that don't do stuff, Dogecoin, <laughs> 27%. And before everybody flips out, it's just Dogecoin. No one hates Dogecoin. Nobody, you know, if, if you talk to some people like Bitcoin Maxis and XRP Army and Chainlink Marines, they all get in this fight. But as soon as someone goes, yeah, but what about Doge? Everybody's okay with it because everybody likes Doge. Um, I don't really see it going too far, but uh, had a heck of a run. And uh, let's see if it can continue to go up. Right now, we are looking at almost four cents, which we hit a high of eight cents. This was an artificial pump. There was nothing as far as fundamentally like, I don't know, companies came out and said, we're going to adopt Doge or we're going to use this on the Visa network or it's going to be great for blah, blah, blah. Nothing that happened. It was just artificial and it had nothing to do with the actual use case for Dogecoin. This is what we're going to talk about pretty soon when we talk about XRP and what's going on. So you know, that's what's going on in the market. Nothing too great. Again, above a trillion, we'll take it. But here's two big things. First up, Elon Musk supports Bitcoin. And again, if you look at Elon Musk's Twitter profile, uh, it just says hashtag Bitcoin, which is the same thing that Jack Dorsey, who owns Twitter, that's what's in his profile, hashtag Bitcoin. So um, Elon is kind of a, he's a funny guy. He is, he's got some dry sense of humor, kind of like myself. But uh, when he would do like tweets about uh, Dogecoin, Dogecoin would go up. And then he would talk about Bitcoin for a little bit, and then it would pump. And when he put this up here last week, I thought, that's ah, just Elon being Elon. He's going to change that at some point, but he didn't. And then there was an article that we're talking about right now, which goes over, he had an interview on Sunday night. It was called uh, The Good Time Show via the Clubhouse app, Sunday night. And this, when he, he was pretty much questioned on uh, Bitcoin, and he says, uh, he goes, first of all, he says, I got to watch what I say here because some of these things can really move the markets. When Elon Musk, Elon Musk, when he put hashtag Bitcoin that first day, Bitcoin went from 32,000 to 37, almost 38,000, just like that. And then it was pretty interesting because like this happened. Also, Ray Dalio, he had put a nice little article out. It didn't really move the, mar the markets too much. So again, news moves these markets. And when you have something like this happen, you're like, okay, now I can kind of get it. And then even Elon Musk gets it. He's not a dumb guy, let's be honest. And he's like, I got to watch what I say because I could really move the market. And he, he says some pretty positive things. But not enough to be like, okay, we're going to go to 50000 tomorrow. He says, I do at this point think Bitcoin is a good thing. I'm late to the party, but I'm a supporter of Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin is really on the verge of getting broad acceptance by conventional finance people. And we can see it everywhere. We can see it with the micro strategies. We can see it with the mass mutuals, the Paul Tudor Jones. All these huge corporations and entities are really getting into Bitcoin. And he's right. Sometimes it just takes, us, sometimes it takes certain people a little bit of time to really get into it. Problem with Elon is maybe he's just a little bit too smart and he just thought, well, it doesn't, I'll get to it later. I've only got, you know, five different companies to deal with. I'll deal with this, this uh, at, a, at a later date. And here we are. So again, it's not about like what one person says, but it's about what one person says that resonates with millions and millions of people. Like just on his Twitter feed, he's got 44 million followers. It's 
not too bad. So if those 44 million followers are hearing about Elon Musk, they love his companies, whether that's the Boring Company or SpaceX or Tesla, and he's talking about Bitcoin, that moves markets. So I can only see good things happening right now here for uh, Bitcoin. On top of the fact that MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor, is going to be hosting his uh, uh, corporations, like he's going to be giving the Bitcoin playbook to these big corporations. Uh, I will be there, so I cannot wait to hear what he has to say. And I'll let you everybody know what happens. Uh, so that'll be interesting. But again, that'll, that'll happen on uh, February 2nd and 3rd, or 3rd and 4th, one of those two. It's in my phone book, or it's in my phone. It's in my phone on in my calendar. So I will be on, on that one and let everybody know exactly what's going on, what's going down over there. I can just only imagine it'll just be exactly what he's did to uh, accumulate a billion worth of Bitcoin. Anyhow, to finish up this article. He states, uh, I don't have a strong opinion on other cryptocurrencies, which is the same thing that you would see like with Raul Powell when he got in. Raul Powell, when he got in, it was Bitcoin and that's it. Then there was an article just recently where he says, you know what, that's 80-20, I'm, I'm on Ethereum. And now he's like, hey, Ethereum could be enormous, I'm gonna put my money into it. So again, Bitcoin is always a, always a gateway crypto and leads to other things. The SpaceX and Tesla CEO further revealed on Dogecoin, Occasionally, I make jokes about Doge, but they are meant to be jokes. Doge is meant as a joke to make fun of cryptos, obviously. And that could be true, that could not be true. But one thing is, one thing that is a reality is that you can still use it as value. People still value Dogecoin. They transfer it back and forth. And yeah, it was started as, you know, as a, uh, as a joke, but it morphed into something different. And that's just to, to how things happen sometimes. But do I think it's gonna go to a dollar? No. Do I get uh, a concern when I keep seeing all these different uh, uh, Twitter feeds and posts where they say, you know, Dogecoin's going to a dollar and you should invest into it right now and da da da. Yes, because people lose their shirts, which leads me to my next point. XRP. Whoops. XRP. So this is happening right now. Um, world time zone to pump XRP. I hate these things. I hate them. And we talked about it yesterday. And everybody's really happy about it because they're like, oh, it's going to pump up. It's going to be great. What's changed? Has, has there been any, any further announcements? Has SEC dropped the case? Has there been anything kind of improvements where a bank has come out and said we're only using XRP? No. So when this is happening right here, what's, what's going on is that people are just pumping and pumping and pumping. You know who this is good for? And I thought of this. I was like, you know, this is great for Jed McCaleb, the Ripple co-founder. Uh, he's loving this because he gets to dump millions of his XRP on the market every single day. Now, there's a, there's a time frame and everything else, but right now, he's uh, within his right to dump. And uh, if he's seeing this, if it's me and I'm looking at these things, I'm not a trader, first of all. But if I'm just taking a step back and going, wow, it just went up, it just doubled in price, and I got all this XRP, I don't know when it's going to last, dump it. And I think that's what's gonna happen with a lot of different traders that are out there. They're gonna look at this and go, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity. I don't know what's going on with this SEC case. So when you see all these posts and everything, people going, you know, you gotta pump it, you gotta put a bunch of money in. That's okay, you should just do it and do it and do it. This is when people get screwed and this is the problem. And uh, I've even seen posts on Twitter where, you know, people are like, hey, I'm sick of this, this nonsense with uh, Dogecoin. One lady, it's on my Twitter feed, she put her entire rent money into Doge and it went, she lost uh, half just like that. So, you know, I don't think this is a, a good thing in any way, shape or form. And that is it. So again, uh, be careful with this. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna get into this, I would not, I would stay away from it. I'm more of an investor than anything else. And uh, I just don't see this as, as good for our market uh, for pumps and dumps. And this is exactly what I see. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And that is it for today. Just wanna to do a quick video. So if you watch this all the way to the end, hey, thanks. Thanks for sticking, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, click on the subscribe. All the different things that we talk about are pretty much time sensitive. So it would kind of help out if you could subscribe get the notifications and you can learn about this uh, as they happen. So that is it for today. Thanks so much. Uh, if you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. Not for sure, let YouTube do its magic and uh, that's it for today. So thanks again. See you on the next one.